Where? Where am I? Why? God. Why? Adam! Adam! Why are you stalking us? Is this about Adam's work? What do you want from us? Why are you tormenting our family? No! Adam! Oh, no. No, what have you done to Adam? Oh, God. War calls for casualties. No, there is no war. We're just a, we're just a regular family. Do you hear me? We just wanted to live our life, and you've ruined everything. Pictures, bugs, threats. And now you've killed me. Stay away! Don't! They already know about you. They've been watching the house. They won't let you. Hush. No! What are you doing? What are you doing? I am sitting. The sweep of the past. President Carter had commented on the Russian threat that we doubts I have. It will be challenging, true. But it was you who kept saying you'd like to get away from the city. Feel the call of the wild. For the weekend, honey. Not for the rest of our lives. <laughs> who says it's for the rest of our lives? Really, Emma? We don't know the day or the hour. Oh, very funny. Like we don't hear enough about nuclear threats in the media. That's what I'm talking about. If I don't break the code, this country would be like a basket full of nuclear mushrooms. Adam, stop it. But then again, maybe this shack will fall down on us before Brezhnev's boys launch their first missiles. It's no shack. It's a present from your parents, and you should appreciate it. Take a look! Oh, it looks even better than the photos. Well, our stuff made it here before us. And those lazy movers didn't even bother waiting for us. That's okay. We can bring it all in ourselves. Yeah, meaning I toil away when you give orders from the shower. Three-hour drive and we're finally here. The place seems peaceful and quiet. Maybe it'll help me to focus on those damn telegrams to decipher. Honey, don't just stand there. Those boxes won't carry themselves in. Update. The place seems peaceful and quiet until Emma showed up. <laughs> 